wanted to come on here and share with you uh, the word that uh, of scripture that God has given me and I'm gonna start my first Sunday light with sharing you uh, sharing with you the story of why I'm doing this and the scripture that God gave me to go along with it and so I want to start by saying that a year ago a little over a year ago um, the house that we were living in was sold and we were given one month to find a place to move into and um, it was a very difficult time of, of in that year because there w was very few places available to move into everything that would come up would be gone as soon as it was available and so um, through a process of phone calls and looking uh, finally one day I ran into my cousin and she told me that there was uh, this guy that had some properties that he rented and um, she gave me his name so I could give him a call so that uh, the next morning I called him to see if he had anything and he he told me he said the house that you're interested in isn't available right now but there's one just down the street and I will have my son call you and so I waited and I waited um, until it was afternoon the next day and I thought well he must not be gonna call so I'll start looking into uh, some other people that might have some place that we could move we're getting down to one week we're at two weeks now before we have to be out of our house and uh, so um, I was looking up numbers so I could make some phone calls and the phone rang and it was the man's son calling me and he he wasn't going to call me because he had someone coming to look at the house but uh, he he remembered who he remembered our name and we're I'm friends with uh, the wife of a friend of his so anyway <laughs> we went to look at the house now we moved from this neighborhood to a better neighborhood because um, this part of town isn't always the best part of town to live in there's stuff that goes on here and so moving back to this neighborhood wasn't really what we wanted to do but we decided to come and look at the house well um, Martina and I drove down here to see the house and when we drove by the house it's like I don't think so it's yellow I, I really don't want a yellow house and we're not talking yellow we're talking yellow <laughs> so um, that was one strike against it but we waited until Larry got home from work and we came to look at the house so I walk in the front door and of course you know when you're thinking about moving you're thinking about things that you would really like to find in a house you know but this is something that I've always wanted but I really hadn't thought about it in context of finding a house so we walk in the front door and the very first room you walk into is like a mud room it has a, a closet for coats and shoes and storage um, and an, a little entryway there uh, we've added some shelves now that you can like put we have baskets on there with gloves and things like that so very first thing I don't it's a separate room from the house I thought this is wonderful so then uh, through then you go through another door and you walk into this huge room and it's the living room and but it's so big I mean there's no way you couldn't sit at one end and then the other and see the TV at the other or you know whatever and so I'm just like oh my gosh this room is amazing what we can do with this room I homeschool so we walk into the what would be the dining room there's built-in shelves there's perfect room for schooling a small bedroom off of that with a closet perfect size for Martina nice bathroom walk-in shower um, laundry room on the the same level we had a basement laundry room before 
And then I walked into the kitchen and I was sold. It was like, I looked at Larry and it was like, this is my home. Uh, the, I, there's an island in the middle, lots of cupboards and counter space to work on, uh, room for table and chairs, patio doors that go out onto a deck. It was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I was sold right there. And then right off of the kitchen was a small room that is my office, where we're at, where we're at now. And then off of that, um, just um, the next door down is the master bedroom, which is a great big bedroom. And so we were just, we they had just finished totally remodeling it, had new everything, new cupboards, new floors, new bathroom, everything was new. But we also knew that someone else was, looking at it. and uh, so he said if you want it it's yours we'll do the paperwork right here and it was like yes we want it so one week before we had to be out of the house we moved into our new house now I loved this house I did not love that it was yellow I did not love that it was back in this part of town but I came down the street one day, uh, and I came around the corner, and the sun was shining. And it hit the, it, it was morning sun, it hit the east side of the house, which is um, the main side of the house. And it was just absolutely beautiful. And I heard, this is my splendor light. And as soon as I heard that, I I felt like we've come into a dark place to bring light. That was the thought that came to me. So then it was a few weeks later when the scripture came, but I was reading in Luke, and I was reading uh, Zechariah's um, prophecy over his son John, and it just it just came to life in me what God was saying for us living in this neighborhood, in this house, at this time, it says, you will preach to his people the revelation of salvation life, the cancellation of all our sins to bring us back to God. The splendor light of heaven's glorious sunrise is about to break upon us in holy visitation, all because the merciful heart of our God is so very tender. The word from heaven will come to us with dazzling light to shine upon those who live in darkness near death's dark shadow, and he will illuminate the path that leads to the way of peace. And when I read that, I knew this was a dazzling light in a dark place and that God had trust, trusted us enough to send us here at this time. So I hope this will bless you, and I hope you will you will take time to hear what God is speaking to you about where you are, because no matter where you are, you can be his dazzling light in this time. <laughs>